Hey folks, James here from Sweepy Machine Embroidery. This is the video tutorial for the March Sew Along. We have had an amazing start to the year with so many of you making such beautiful sew along projects. And we wanted to keep that trend alive with our latest design, the Tulip Fields Hanger. This stunning hanger can be made in the 4x4, 5x5, 6x6, 7x7 and the 8x8 size hoop. It is made up of 8 different beautiful blocks that are stitched out in the hoop. In this video I will show you the stitch out of block 8 and the construction of the Tulip Fields Hanger. We recommend you follow the photographed written instructions provided in conjunction with this video. If you haven't already, go join the March Sew Along group on Facebook to receive a 30% discount on this design. The link will be in the description below. If you enjoy Sweet Peas tutorial on the Chill of Fields Hanger Sew Along, please like and subscribe. Begin by hooping up cutaway stabilizer in the hoop and load the design onto your machine. Then place batting one on top of the hoop and stitch the batting down. Remove the hoop from your machine and trim the batting about 1 to 2 millimeters from the stitching. Stitch the placement line for the first background. Place fabric A right side up on top of the hoop covering the placement line and stitch down. Remove the hoop from your machine and trim the fabric about 1 to 2 millimeters from the stitching. Leave the excess fabric in the seams. Repeat the applique process with the second background using fabric B. Trim, leaving the excess fabric in the seams. Embroider the quilting on the background. Begin the embroidery process. Refer back to this diagram if needed. Embroider the satin stitch around the backgrounds. Embroider the stems. Embroider the details on the stems. Repeat the applique process with the first petal of the tulip on the left using a piece of fabric. Trim. Then embroider the satin stitch. Repeat the applique process with the second petal of the tulip on the left using a piece of fabric. Trim. Then embroider the satin stitch. Repeat the applique process with the third petal of the tulip on the left using a piece of fabric. Trim. Then embroider the satin stitch. Embroider the details on the tulip flower. Repeat the exact same applique, trimming and satin stitch process for the second tulip on the right. Remember to follow the diagram.
embroider the details on the tulip flower. Awesome job, you have now completed the stitch out of your first block. Now remove your work from the hoop and trim the seams about half an inch using your rotary cutter and ruler. Hold aside until all your blocks are made. Once you have completed the stitch out of all the blocks, lay them out on a flat surface in the correct order. Start off by joining the blocks in rows. Place the first two blocks right sides together and pin along one edge lining up the border stitching the best you can. Take your time with this process. Sew a half inch seam, sewing just inside the border lines already on the blocks. Iron open the seams. Then continue joining the other blocks in the same fashion. Next, join the horizontal rows to each other by placing the first two rows right sides together. Pin and stitch the seams on your sewing machine. Stitch just inside the border already stitched on the blocks, so the stitching will not be seen on the right side later. Open the seams and iron them flat. Continue this until you have each of the horizontal rows together. Perfect. I will now show you how to add loops to your wall hanger. Take out fabric F for the loops. Fold the two long edges in about half an inch, one centimeter, and iron. Fold it half lengthways and iron. Top stitch the two long edges. Make sure the bobbin is the same color as your top thread. Fold the strip and cut it in half along the fold. You will be left with two strips which will make the two loops. Fold each strip in half and pin them both to your wall hanging. We decided to place the loops one and a half inches in from the side border stitching of the wall hanging. This will depend on the type of hanger you are using. Please know that you can have the loops as long as you like. Stay stitch in place. Trim any excess fabric from the loops so they are in line with the top edge of the hanger. Creating the back and binding of the wall hanging. Place fabric G backing on your table, wrong side facing up. Then place your sewn wall hanging on top of fabric G, wrong sides together, pin together. To keep all the layers of the wall hanging together, we can stitch in the ditch. This process will help keep the seams flat during the laundry process and will keep it flat during its lifetime. Using your ruler, cut one and a quarter inch from the wall hanging. This extra fabric will be used as the binding.
Starting on one of the long sides, fold the backing fabric in half up to the raw edge of the wall hanging. Iron the fold in place. Then on the angled edge, fold the backing fabric in half up to the raw edge of the wall hanging. Iron the fold in place. Go back to that first long edge and fold the backing fabric for a second time. This time, however, fold just past the stitching on the blocks. Iron the fold and then pin and clip in place. Then come back to the first angled edge and fold the backing fabric for a second time. This time, however, fold just past the stitching on the blocks. Iron the fold and then pin or clip in place. Once folded, you should be left with a nice mitered corner. When you get to the point, fold up the point so the folded edge sits against the edge of your wall hanging. Iron the fold. Fold the second angled edge over once, so it sits against the raw edge of your wall hanging. And iron and fold. Fold the second angled edge over once, so it sits against the raw edge of your wall hanging and iron the fold. Move on to the second long edge and fold this edge over twice. So it sits just past the stitching on the blocks. Iron the fold, then pin and clip in place. Go back to the second angled edge and fold the backing fabric so it sits just past the stitching on the blocks. Iron the fold and then pin or clip in place. You should be left with a sharp point on the end as well as a nice neat corner on the side. Then finally move to the final edge, which is the top of the wall hanging, and repeat the folding process. Starting anywhere, sew the binding to the wall hanging, just inside the folded edge of the binding. Make sure the top bobbin thread both match the binding and backing fabric. Flip the loops up and stitch the bottom of the loops to the binding.
Press the hanger with an iron. Your wall hanging is now complete. Well there you have it, a gorgeous tulip field hanger from Sweet Pea. I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial and found it very informative. Remember to post photos of your finished project on the Soul Along group because we love to celebrate our amazing community. Check out our online store for more beautiful machine embroidery designs and sewing essentials at sweepea.com. That is S-W-P-E-A dot com. Thank you again for watching. I'll see you next month.